cats are just, you know, just like, you guys won't be late. I'm like, oh, no, no, depends. <laughs> Try not to be, but it's going to be close. I think. Depends on how fast you clean up. I've got to finish the case first. <laughs> so I have to get a case face so I can say, ah, oh, <laughs> And you notice how small the vessels are on this guy compared to yours? That tiny vessel disease. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> It's not a runt itself, though, I guess, probably. Isn't that amazing? problem here. He's got duplication and hypoplasia of the right internal anterior cerebral artery. Kid comes up here with a double vessel. Aside from tiny vessel. Right, so right anterior cerebral is duplicated and hypoplasia. Yes. Even with these tiny vessels, it's small. It's what my colleagues used to call when we were residents a foobar. You know what a foobar is? No. Held up beyond all recognition. <laughs> there are other ways of saying that, of course, but of course, being gentlemen, we never would do that. <laughs> It's uh, sort of sounds like a little bit like creationism, but not quite. But they're having a big brouhaha about it. And there's the bass, and there's the beer, so I don't know what's up there. He's having a brouhaha They were, there was an editorial in the New England Journal last month, I can't remember what they called it. Apparently, they're, try, they're trying to revolutionize the way science is taught in grade school and high school across the country. You know, there's always been this controversy that they wouldn't let them teach about. They wanted to teach creationism. And that got settled, I guess, by the Supreme Court a few years back, proving that it could